and welcome to Minot, North Dakota. Carl and I just decided to take a couple days off from living in Regina, Saskatchewan. So drove the four and a half hours uh, from Saskatchewan across the U.S. border into North Dakota and are now in Minot. We just kind of wanted to a change of scenery, something new. We've never been to Minot before, so we're pretty excited just to be in a new city, even though it's fairly close. It's just like a couple hours drive. So Carl is back in the hotel because he has a Skype meeting with his brothers. They're gonna hang out for a while, but I wanted to get some lunch. So we're here at Kroll's Diner and uh, I'm gonna have the, you know, authentic American diner experience. My expectations for an American diner are definitely being met so far. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. It was not what I was expecting at all. Um, okay, so what I was expecting was like kind of a Disneyland type diner as if they're like putting on this 50s diner vibe, but no, like it was authentic. They were, that was like real American diner right there. Like everyone was just going about their business really casually, like nothing was put on. Like that was just how they roll, which I thought that was great. <laughs> It was a chicken sandwich with fries and a Coke, and it came to $16.75 US, which is quite reasonable. Now, back in the car, and I have to find my way back to the hotel somehow without mobile data, so I can pick up Carl, and then we're gonna go for a walk in a park. Okay, so I've got Carl. We arrived at this park. Um, what's it called again? Oak Park. Oak Park. Um, we wanted to come here because I saw online that it was voted America's favorite park in 2011. I don't know exactly what the parameters of that contest were, but so far it looks like a pretty small park. Um, really beautiful, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting with America's favorite park. Also, there was just like a huge snowstorm, so everything is like covered in snow. Mingle's a snow angel. Yes, no angel of that snow. Mm, I don't know. It's perfect. That is a perfect snow angel. Hey, Lola. Good morning again from Minot. Um, it is the next day and we are here at Roosevelt Park and um, we know there's a zoo here. We weren't really sure if you're we gonna go to it because who knows what a zoo is like in winter. Like I'm not really sure what kind of animals are gonna be able to be outside in the winter. It's like minus 20 today so um, we, we weren't really sure if we were gonna come in but we drove by and we saw like five Bengal tigers outside so I think that's enough for us to pay the $6 entrance fee just to go check it out. Also, we'll probably be the only people in there, so it'll be fun. Can you see them? There they are! Wow! Oh, they're running! Oh, they're having a great time! <laughs> We are in. We found out that it is different admission prices for different seasons. So in the winter, it's only $6, but in the summer, it's going to be $10. And that's because a lot of the animals obviously aren't um, equipped to be outside for the um, 
North Dakota winters. So yeah, like the monkeys, uh, the African penguins, like a lot of the other African animals like giraffes um, aren't going to be available to see. Like they all have their in indoor enclosures. But um, yeah, a lot of surprising animals are able to be outside. It's all the time. They don't like to be in captivity. No. Oh, does it, when they're chasing each other. <laughs> wow. yeah, it's one, it's one there. Look at those jaws. When we first saw these tigers, we thought that they were Bengal tigers, which are in India, I think. <laughs> so yeah, like hot, so hot weather. And um, but they're actually Amur, Amur tigers, which are like in like Siberia and Russia. So like this is actually the winter is their natural habitat. These guys here are just tree cubs. They will be one year old soon. Oh, he's coming. Oh, you gonna get him? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, go. Oh, there he goes. Uh -huh. My turn. Oh, he wanted the toy. Uh, we're headed to the North Trail over this bridge. The North Trail sounds a lot better than the Chosen Zoo. <laughs> yeah. What is otters? Um, I think I'm gonna enjoy the petting zoo probably more than any kid. Hello, sheep. Are you gonna let us pet you? We don't have any snacks. Hello. 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 We don't have snacks. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, they're not snacks. I'm leaving. Yeah. Hello, goats. Oh, I think you can, go, can actually go in there. <laughs> Don't pretend you're gonna feed them snacks. I'm sneaky rogues. Oh, he doesn't want to go in the snow. Uh. That's why. He doesn't want rubs. Ah, uh, bald eagles. Go check them out. Go put your other hands up to that. <laughs> oh, you're about uh, the orange one. What's the orange one? The bald eagle? Yeah, well, that bald eagle, six feet. Okay. Yeah, the eight. California condor, wow. Yeah, right. I'd love to see one of those. Yeah, me too. Hello, bald eagles. Go through the snow to come check you out. Oh, there's a path over there. <laughs> we don't have to walk through the snow. You are amazing. Oh, exactly. These were all born in the wild. Is his wing injured or something? Oh, no, something oh he's Jackson. a golden eagle. Jackson is a golden eagle. And that looks like Marshall, who is a bald eagle. Oh, hey, I remember the Scottish Highland cows doing that in Scotland. Why is that one in a cage by himself? Oh, he's in there because he wants to be in there. The door's open. <laughs> oh, these ones are Scottish Highland cows. Okay. Oh, hello, camels over there peeking. <laughs> We're in the snow. <laughs> Oh, the camels have a big enclosure. Oh, there's three of them. <laughs> oh, hello! Oh, Look at the Mr. Shapes. Camel. No, he's not. We're friends. Hello. Look at his eyes. He's so gentle. He is. Look at his eyes. He looks so, yeah, intelligent and caring. Aww. I'm having a moment with this big guy, anyway. I'm surprised that you guys like people. Hey, don't you on that. Hey, what are you doing? Why are you chewing on that thing? Why is he, chewing he wants to break it and get out. The camel likes you. 
Oh, and this one's my friend. Oh, he likes the snow. They are friends. Oh, it looks like a pet you guys. Aww. Oh! Hates the news. Number bad news in the news these days. <laughs> Sick of reading about COVID. <laughs> no, where are we going? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mike. Hello. Mr. Grizzly. Good morning. Rose or something. Uh, they're in their torpor, so they haven't eaten in three months. Oh. Yeah. We could throw them like a uh, romaine or yam every once in a while. Okay. Out, out and about. Uh, but technically, they should be waking up. Well, they're awake, but we'll probably start feeding them and shipping them and stuff in like a week or two. Oh, holy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's pretty neat. It they is. pretty grumpy bears. <laughs> These, these guys are not like they've got three months without eating. No. Back to bed. We're on our way out of the Roosevelt Park Zoo now. And I always feel a little bit conflicted about zoos. Um, on the one hand, I love seeing animals and you're never going to see them in any other circumstance so it's great for that reason but it's also like a lot of animals it feels like they don't want to be in there like the wolves and the tigers and stuff they want to be roaming around and sometimes their enclosures aren't quite what they should have for the happiness of the animal but i really enjoyed the zoo <laughs> it was interesting because uh in the winter I'm sure not many people come to see them, so like they're not backing away from the crowds like they usually are. Like the animals are very active, and I think that was the most we've ever seen of the animals. I think actually the they're more curious. Yeah, they're more interesting. They were more they come curious. Come up to you about as opposed to hide from you. Yeah, 
Um, so yeah, that was the most active we've ever seen zoo animals. And uh, the grizzly, we saw everything. Grizzlies, the grizzly bears were right out in front. Big tigers, red pandas, crazy Mongolian camels, yeah. <laughs> yaks, Scottish Highland cows, mm -hmm. gray wolves. All sorts of things. And we were like the only people in there. I think there was one other guy yeah. that we saw one time. For but... six dollars, uh, you could not spend six dollars there. No, that was wonderful. That. We loved it. Just out of the hot tub now, and we are at Scandinavian Heritage Park. Apparently there are a lot of Scandinavians that uh, immigrated to this particular area, so they've got an entire park in mine not dedicated to them. So, uh, so far it looks pretty awesome. Big attractions from Norway, Sweden, Iceland, and Denmark, I think. And this is what we're looking at right now. That's beautiful, isn't it? Got a building? I've never seen anything like it. Chinese Emperor. Like. Yeah, you're right. Ah yes, the Danish windmills. I'm going in. Ah. Oh, I'd love to go inside there and check it out. All the buildings are closed during the winter, unfortunately. Elephants, where? What? What, what? what animals do you see? I see some weird gargoyle things. Oh, dragons. That's what I see. Uh, I think Scandinavian tongue. It's a tongue. It's a serpent. It's a sea serpent. Horses. Yeah, I see a lot of things, but not elephants. Yeah. Oh, look at this door inside here. This is amazing. This is a stave church. I don't know exactly what that means. What is but that? It, it's, it's called a stave church. And I think it's just like the type of church that it is from Norway. Uh, this is a replica, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, this is the kind of church they would have in Norway 200 years ago, apparently. Here we have the Dala horse from Sweden. Probably not actually from Sweden, but like modeled after a Swedish Dala horse. He's got a Christmas uh, yeah. necklace on. <laughs> Oh, it's a national symbol of Sweden. Okay. <laughs> Stand against that door. <laughs> it's for uh, hobbits. It's a stabber, a storehouse. Oh, it is, it's a cottage. Okay. Oh, I thought it was like, wow. Also from Norway. Oh, I think is authentic. I was reading online that there was an authentic house that was like dismantled and rebuilt here. Yeah, let's go see what that says. Sigdal House. Been here a while, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that was a beautiful night. <laughs> We're a little bit overwhelmed at how amazing this restaurant is. Look at these portion sizes. This is all for $20.99. So you've got the baked potato, steak, shrimp, rice, and a Caesar salad. Plus we started with a giant loaf of fresh bread. Amazing. Last morning before we're heading home to Regina, 
Uh, so we just came to the downtown area of Minot just to take a quick look around before we head out. Um, I heard some rumors that there is some interesting street art in the area, which um, if you've watched my channel before, you know that it's one of my favorite things ever. So we had to come check it out and we have found a few so far. I feel like the downtown area is oddly quiet. Like usually in the downtown area of a city, it's like bustling quite a bit. I feel like it's uh, weirdly quiet. Like you wouldn't be able to like walk down the street yeah. in most cities. Yeah, we are in downtown Regina and always people in the streets. Yeah. Also, in this whole trip, like we're definitely the only tourists in the city. <laughs> no one else is coming here for two nights. That one lady was surprised that we uh, yeah. were staying here, not just passing through. <laughs> 